Hello everyone and welcome to a new Matrix Hall video. Today, in this video, we will talk about the render. The reason why is because we just launched the Matrix Hall 2.5, which is running on Rhino 7, and there are a few things that has changed. Also, we have done a few improvements on our render tab. So let me start uh, here. The first thing that uh, we have done is uh, now by default you get la larger icons. This is something that when you are designing, it's good to have because it's easier to click on the desired um, icon. We have done it on every window, also on this one. So now as you can see, it's easier to see what material you are working on. Also, that uh, something that we have improved is uh, when we apply the materials. So now applying the materials is faster. It takes uh, less than what it used to take. So now if I select all this area and I want to make it in yellow, I can go and make it in yellow. So before it was taking longer than uh, what it does now. So that, these are a couple of things that we have done just on the material side. Also, uh, now when you launch a uh, render, you have these options here, if I go to preferences, where I can save it automatically. I can save it to the current project, meaning that if now I'm working on this project, from the moment that I uh, apply a render, automatically will be saved in this project. And also something that I can do is save it into the share render folder, All right? So I can go here and now as you can see also appears here a button just to open this uh, file so let's keep it like this and let's do a render so let me click and do a render let me there we go so now once I finish all the passes, 150, even if I don't save it, so I just close it. When I go to my job pack, the project manager, here you can see all the ones that I have been working on. Actually, this is telling me at what time I have done it. I was doing a few tests this morning. Now, as you can see, this is the last one that I took. So if I click into open, it opens up and as you can see it's exactly the one that I have just done that's very cool because you can save in the same uh, project the renders and the files so it's something that automatically you get it and it's something that is very very uh, useful okay um, something that is also good to mention is that once you are in the job pack you can sort out all the files that you have just showing the images so if i go to show images in just one click i can see all the renders that i have shoot uh, on this uh, project so this is something that is very very cool and you can see all the ones that you have been working on and if you want to open any you just need to click and just open the one that you have done Something else that we also have been working is on the on the styles. Importing and exporting styles is something that we have been asked and now you can do it. So as you can see here, you have to save the new general style. This is something that we were already able to do. But now you can import a render style and also you can uh, export uh, the render styles, all right? So from the moment that you save it, uh, you already have this general style that you created and you can import it from uh, this tab. So just say that now we have this Matrix Classic, as you can see here, we have all the um, reflections, lightings, the backdrop. Now what we can do here is make some changes to get a different look. So I can go to, let me first, so environments, yeah, this is what I want. So I will start to play a bit with, first let me go from the view to ray traced. So I see in real time, 
what I am gonna get. I need to add the material to this stone here. So let me just click on these stone materials and I will apply this one. All right, now I can go to the render materials, just use the ones that we are using. Preview render, so I see it, how, I, how it will look like. We'll do the same with these ones and this one. So at least I can see how it will look like the render, okay? Then I can start to play with environments. So the backdrop is the light that I'm going to get in this diamond. So just say that I want to go. This is what we have. This this is what is giving us the reflections to the to these diamonds. So in case that you want something different, just to show you, let me see what I have here to show you a bit more of color because I want to show you. You see that there is this one that has this red. Probably if we apply this one, we'll get, you see, like more red in the diamonds or brown because it's actually what you are seeing here. So this is important to keep in mind because it means that you can also import uh, another, uh, here you can see it, another HDRI. So if you have your own HDRI and you want to import it to give a special color uh, to your diamonds, you can do it from, from here. So for instance, the other day I bought a new HD, uh, HDRI and I can go and let's see if I have it here. Uh, where I have it, I think that I have it in my desktop. There we go. This is the one that I bought. So I open it. There we go. This is the one. So I just apply it here now. And now as you can see, I'm getting a different tonality for the diamond. So and you can play a lot with with this. So you can either get uh, an HDRI uh, that you like uh, to give different tonalities to this to this stone. So this is something that is very cool. And the reason that I'm showing you how to achieve these results is because now just say that I just touch a bit the intensity here. I want it a bit more. You can make any change. You can do it also. You can rotate the reflections. Now I'm rotating the reflections here. So once you get what you want, the only thing that you need to do is save this uh, new general style, and then you can import it uh, once you have. You save it. New style one. So now once I got it, you can imported at any time so now the i'm doing this to get the the picture uh, with the, all the settings that we have applied and this is something that you can now import and export so it's very very important all right so we have been talking about uh what you can do on this panel now i'm i'm back to the matrix classic and what I would like to show you is uh, and talk a bit about the post-processing. This is something that has changed a bit in the Rhino, uh, in the new Rhino 7. So let me show that. So let me launch the render. As you can see, I just did 150 passes. That is not a lot, but I would like to talk of, about a few things on this uh, post-processing. All right, so this is what we got. We have this render. Um, if I go and I zoom in, you can see that there is all this noise. So what we have achieved here is, it took me like 10 seconds to make uh, this render. Actually, 11 seconds. Um, but we have something that it's called denoiser. The denoiser is not by default. 
if you want to get the denoiser here, what you need to do is just go on the command line and click on package manager. And from here, we have the denoisers. Depending on what uh, graphic card you have, if you have an NVIDIA that is an NVIDIA denoiser, let me just go NVIDIA denoiser. Also, there is another Intel that can be can we can work for you, but I will get this one and I will install it. So I say install it. So this is what you need to do. And now I need to restart Reno. All right. So let me install re reinstall Reno. Let me pause the video here. All right. So I'm back now. I will do the same. be sure let me be sure that because i open again the file let me be sure that i have applied the materials i will do it like this now and all the diamonds okay let's and now i'll go even a bit bigger so let's go like this I'm doing it bigger so you will, uh, we will be able to see all the noise that we have around so of course that now it will take longer because the image is much much bigger let me pause the video okay all right so this is done as you can see now because i installed the nvidia the noiser i already have it here now is unclick and this is something that i really like to show you you see that there is all this noise here. These pixels in the color, as you can see. So I will zoom in a lot so you will see what is the difference. So what the denoiser does is just to mix all these pixels so we get a smooth color. So when I click like this, now I am in the in the alpha channel so this is why it disappeared but if i go back here you see that now everything is very very smooth so this is what the denoiser does something that is very very important to mention is that now as you can see the color are not as strong as they used to be this is because you need to go to the final pass and just unclick the gamma you can unclick the gamma or go here and go to one but the easiest way to do it is go just here. And there we go. Now we got the effect with the denoiser so that everything is smoother. And look what a beautiful, beautiful mm, render you got just in 150 with 150 passes. All right, so you don't get any noise and the render looks super realistic. Very, very smooth colors. So this improves a lot the way that the renders looks and also the speed on getting the renders done all right so this is very very important so something else that we can add here is the just let me go this from the add sign you can just add just say that of fill so now I already have the depth of field here. Um, of course, that if I go, I don't know, 100, sorry, everything gets blurry. But with this picker, I can select what areas do I want to keep. All right, so now, as you can see, everything is getting blurry at the bottom, but the area that I want to highlight is very, very clear. So this is something that it's also nice to use. And from here, <clears throat> you can keep uh, playing, playing with all these different options that you have. You have also dimensions and text. This is something that sometimes if you want to have um, some dimensions on a render, you can use. So just uh, let's say that I go to the dimensions and I will add just a dimension here. From here to here. All right, and now when I 
just let me go to a smaller and I just shoot the render I can already select the video the noiser so I get this beautiful result then I will go to the dimensions and text I think that I didn't select it and now I just click dimensions and test text and as you can see here I have the dimensions again as I did before I go to the I get out from the alpha channel as you can see the all the colors look, looks lighter but always need to go to the final pass when you are uh, adding post effects always go to the final pass and unclick the gamma so now I get the dimensions with a nice render. All right, so um, this is an overview about the new render that we have in Matrix Gold and Rhino 7. For sure that uh, we will come out with more videos to go deeper. Um, we have the forum that if there is anything that you would like to ask us, uh, please uh, get in uh, forumgenvision.com and from there you can uh, suggest anything that you would like to see and we will be more than happy to make videos and show you how to use Matrix Gold. Thanks for watching.